Hey y'all, one of my favorite quotes, and I got a lot of them, but one of my favorites is that a goal without a plan is just a wish. I love this quote because it's a humbling reminder that we have to work toward what we want in life. We gotta go earn it, right? <laughs> we gotta work hard for what we want to achieve or accomplish. So I find that a lot of people have big, awesome goals, but they really struggle with the plan part. They don't know how to get from A to B. So for those people, I always encourage them to set SMART goals because a SMART goal is going to inform your plan, your action. And some of you may be very familiar with SMART goals, but some of you might need a refresher or this might be new information. So as a reminder, SMART is actually an acronym and it stands for Specific, Measurable, Attainable, Relevant, and Time-Based. Specific is important because it adds clarity to what you're going after. What do you want to accomplish? You want to quantify it. So how many, what is it? Get as specific as you can. And it's it's very similar with measurable too. You want to quantify your goal. Otherwise, how do you know that you actually accomplished it? You have to have something by which to measure. Attainable is important. We all have limitations, right? We have limited abilities, knowledge, influence, resources. I don't know anyone that's not time starved. So think about what can you actually accomplish? What is attainable to you where you are today, right now watching this video? T is for time-based. Time is my favorite one of these elements because this girl loves, <laughs> loves a deadline. I enjoy the pressure of having to get something done by a certain time. One of my life mottos is do what you say you're gonna do when you say you're going to do it and time-based really supports this. Now, not everyone enjoys that level of pressure. I get it, okay? But the time thing is still very important because if you don't put a deadline on what you want to accomplish, then life, the noise, the mundane gets in the way and your goal goes on the back burner. No one wants that to happen. In addition to the SMART approach, I also recommend having an accountability system. If your goal is just between you and yourself, then you might give yourself a little bit of slack. <laughs> you might cut yourself some, you know, a break when you don't meet your goal or when you let it get on the back burner. But if you publicly announce it, and I'm not talking about a video, I'm not talking about social media, tell a friend, your significant other, someone that means something to you, someone that's important to you, but you can also trust that loves you. Tell your friends at work, tell your boss, make it public if you want. But the important thing is, is that you hold an accountability system in place because when you have your low days, you need someone to give you some tough love or some encouragement. We all have our low times, right? We need a little push and they'll check on you. Like, how's it going? Have you been able to do this yet? and they'll stick with you as you make progress toward your goal. An accountability system is really important. You might be able to let yourself down, but it's really hard to let someone else down, right? I also encourage you to really think about what you can control. If your goal is contingent upon someone else's influence or decision, then it's probably not a goal that you should be setting. For example, many people set goals like, I have this dream job, I'm gonna get this dream job, or I'm gonna make it when I reach this place. Great, I love, love that ambition. The goal really though, it really needs to be, I will acquire the skills, experience, certification, street cred, whatever it is to get to that place. You can control that, right? You can control your education, experience, certification, you can control that. You can't control someone else's decision to hire you unless you hire yourself, but not everybody can do that, let's be real. So keep your goals into your own scope 
of influence and control. So that's it. I've got the SMART approach, an accountability slash support system, and you're going to keep it real with yourself. <laughs> what can you can control? What can you influence? If you have any other goal achieving, not goal setting, we're achieving goals here. If you have any other goal achieving advice, bring it on. I want to hear it. Drop them down in the comments below. Thanks y'all.